Hello guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we are gonna see how to turn Selenium script on IE. In previous tutorial, I have shown you how to launch Chrome and Firefox browser by running Selenium script. So now we will see how to launch IE browser. So let's get started. As you know, running any browser requires driver. So let's download driver for IE first. For this, go to Google and type download i driver for selenium it's taking some time We need to go to this first link that is Selenium HQ. So click on this link. Here find Internet Explorer driver server section, this one. Here is the driver release for Windows. So download version according to your system, either 32 bit or 64 bit. As I have already downloaded it, so I'll go to the downloads. You can see it listed here. It's a zip file, so extract it. I have extracted file here. Copy this one and let's set up it. First, find the location where your PyCharm folder exists. So this PC, C drive, users, HP and here is the PyCharm project folder. Open this one and here is the lips folder. I have already created this folder for Chrome driver and Giga driver in previous tutorials. So I'll use this one. If you haven't created yet, so create one named as lips. Open this one and paste the extracted driver file to this location. Now get the complete path of this location or we can uh, get this path later. Let's write script in PyCharm. Create Python file. Name it as run IE browser. import web driver from selenium import web driver let's initialize driver here web driver dot ie and uh, we need to set the location path here as well so uh, let's create a variable name it as driver location path and uh, go, go to the uh, labs folder and copy the location path select the file and go to properties and copy the path okay paste it here and uh, add the driver file name here as well that is i driver server dot exe because it's a exe file escape the backslashes so that it can find the path correctly That's it. And uh, now import OS because we need to set the environment variable. OS dot environ add key here. 
that is webdriver dot i dot driver this is the key and it should be correct it should be it should always be this so don't change it now add the variable here driver location path and add the variable here as well driver location path now add the web url which we want to open in browser so driver dot get and let's add google url https dot google dot com so that's it let's run the code you are seeing error here this is because you guys need to make sure uh, one thing before running the test script go to the internet explorer go to the settings and um, here zoom level is 75 percent so make sure that uh, zoom level is 100 percent it should always be 100 percent if it's different then test case will not be run and uh, another and one more thing if your test case is get failed then first look at it and make sure zoom level is 100 percent if it's not then change it to 100 percent so that your test cases will be running successfully Second thing to make sure that go to internet options. And uh, click on security tab. Under this tab, there are multiple zones. And uh, there is enable protected mode checkbox option at the end. So make sure that this a uh, enable protected mode option is same for all the zone internet local internet intranet trusted sites and restricted sites either this option is uh, should be disabled for all the zones or um, it should be enabled for all the zones currently um, it's a disabled for some zones and for uh, some it's enabled so let's disable it select zone one by one and uh, disable the option again and that's it it's better to disable it for all the zones so apply changes okay and uh, okay let's close this and uh, let's run this one and see it's working fine i have um, ie 11 version it doesn't matter what ie version we have so uh, you guys may have different ones so it doesn't matter at all all done and uh, see everything is working fine and uh, we are all set guys run this script on your machine and let me know if you have any question thanks for running this one guys stay tuned for the next tutorial